It's easy to forget how big the world actually is, to marvel at the sheer enormity of it at the macro and micro level. Sometimes we need a few reminders so we do not completely lose our sense of wonder. Thankfully, we live in pretty extraordinary times when seemingly ordinary objects acquire a whole new meaning when seen through the eyes of a powerful microscope. Here are 17 beautiful and bizarre images of things seen under a microscope, guaranteed to melt your mind. Sand grains. This incredible picture of sand grains is magnified up to 300 times. Head of a Romanesco cauliflower. These beautiful Italian cauliflowers are rather delicious looking, but when magnified a gazillion times, they look like this. Mildly terrifying. Eyelashes. Since eyelashes are constantly exposed to the atmosphere, dust and skin flakes more readily settle inside the rim where the hair follicles emerge from the skin. This is an image of eyelashes growing from the surface of human skin, magnified about 50 times. Head lice. Dealing with a lice infestation on your head can be a nightmare. Literally, when you realize they actually look like this. Lice grab onto hair strands and lay their eggs, also called nits, close to the scalp. These eggs are glued to the hair and can only be treated with chemicals since they are mostly water resistant. Head of a mosquito. For the most part, mosquitoes are nothing more than an annoyance. But remember the next time one lands on you, that this is what they look like up close. This is a mosquito's head magnified 160 times. Human tooth in the earliest stage of decay. This image of a piece of demineralized tooth was taken with a scanning electron microscope. Shark skin. Shark skin is covered by tiny, flat, V-shaped scales called dermal denticles. They are more like teeth than fish scales. The denticles seen in this image belong to a swell shark, magnified 144 times using a scanning electron microscope. Chloroplasts in plant cells. Chloroplasts help plants synthesize chlorophyll. This microscopic image was taken to study the effect of a herbicide called Kixor on blocking synthesis at a cellular level to stop the growth of weeds. Leg of a gecko. A gecko's leg magnified 120 times looks just as terrifying as that thing from Alien. You're welcome for the nightmare fuel. Caterpillar. This bizarre looking tentacle monster is a caterpillar seen under a microscope magnified 30 times. Human tongue. The tongue surface is covered with thousands of taste buds and bumps called papillae, which gives it its rough texture. This is a magnified photograph of that description taken by a scanning electron microscope. The papillae appear flaky because they constantly shed their top layer of skin. Human eye. This picture is a fascinating ultra close-up of the human eye. Cervical cancer cells. Cervical cancer is caused by the abnormal growth of cells in the cervix. These cells usually form malignant tumors in the cervix and have the ability to migrate or spread to other parts of the body. Up close, cancerous cell division inside the cervix looks like this. Mushroom spores. Mushrooms are spore bearing, meaning they have tiny reproductive cells that allow the fungus to replicate and grow. Spores can be used to identify whether or not a mushroom is edible and as such are important in the study and consumption of the fungus. These oval shaped nuggets are the spores on the surface of a mushroom, magnified and seen through an electron microscope. Bread mold. Bread is perfect for supporting mold growth due to its moistness and ingredients. Mold spores, in fact, are everywhere in the air around us, and it does not take much effort for one of these to settle on bread and reproduce. Mold multiplies like crazy. It can double in size in as little time as an hour. This extraterrestrial plant form is actually the fruiting head of a molding spore on bread. Snail shell. A snail shell has three major layers. This is a magnified image of a snail's periostracum, the hard outermost layer that gives the shell most of its coloring and protects the softer layers from damage due to its abrasion-resistant properties. Spider silk glands. The silk produced by spiders is a type of protein fiber that they use to trap prey, escape predators, and build nests for their offspring. A single silk gland, as seen in this magnified image, contains spinnerets, tubule-like structures from where silk is shot out. 
Depending on the species, spiders may have two to eight spinneret pairs. 